I would take my Swiss Army knife with me into space. It's given to me by my parents when I was a little kid for Christmas. It's one of my most treasured possessions. It would be something of theirs and also something that might come in handy. You never know when you might need a Swiss Army knife. I would bring this small toy that I have with me of Wilson uh, from the movie Castaway. A picture of my dad. Back in the early 90s, he was known as the Rocket Man. He built his own rockets and launched them. I would bring my dad's aircrew wings. He was a Avenger ball terror gunner during World War II, and I remember watching the Apollo 11 moon landing with him, and uh, he was just fascinated with the space program. These tiny binoculars, because my then boyfriend, now husband, gave this to me as one of the first gifts uh, in our emerging relationship. And what I've always appreciated about it is that it's tiny, I carry it in my purse every day. I think of him and also see things on the earth that I've never seen before so up close. A point and shoot camera that my family gave to me when I was a kid and whenever I used to travel I would take pictures with it. I would just love to be in space which is the farthest place you could possibly travel to and take pictures with that. I'm a ballet student and I think it would be really exhilarating and fascinating to do ballet in space. I guess in microgravity, I wouldn't really need shoes, but I think it'd be more fun with the right footwear. My ukulele, I noodle around on that a little bit, and it would be a fun time to pass the time and look down on Earth and sing its songs. My family immigrated here from Italy, and when my grandmother died in her personal effects, I found this photo. I would bring this to space with me to remind me of my home in New York and my family. If you asked my husband, he would say that it would be my iPhone because he's pretty sure it's Velcroed to my hand. However, what I would take is a thumb drive of all the photos on my iPhone. And that's because they are the memories of all the great times I have with my family, with my friends here at the office. And uh, I'm very fortunate to have those. And it's something that can just keep me in touch in my heart at all times. I collect photographs of the early astronauts and I would take one of the photographs of one of America's first astronauts, 